Right now, though, my next guests are back on the ice this weekend, hoping for an easier time from the Dancing on Ice judges. I think this is the best first skate we've ever had. Everything you did was beautifully done, but well within you. So next week, I'd like to see a bit more. I love how this feedback kind of feels negative, even though you've got a great <laughs> score. But that's because we expect so much of you, because you're so good. You are a class, class act. You're at a level where we need to nitpick. I thought Hamish, you were going to throw her. It would have been spectacular. And that's what we need to see from you in the future. Well, Faye Brooks and her professional partner, Hamish Gammon, join me now from rehearsals. Lovely to see you two. And congratulations, one of three couples at the top of the leaderboard. And every single week, it's magical. And they are nitpicking, Faye. They've been really nitpicky, actually, if you don't mind me saying. Listen, they're doing their job, aren't they? Um, they have to give us constructive criticism and I want them to because I want to get the very best out of this experience. And it's unbelievable, Lorraine. You look phenomenal. Hamish, is she not the ideal star pupil? Oh, I mean, it's the dream come true. I mean, it's I've seen Faye from day one and I saw her on the ice and she was like a little Bambi. Well, I had asked her to do stuff, go backwards and she was just waddling. And obviously saw she's become this incredible swan last week. So I, I knew from the beginning the potential that was there. Yeah. And obviously Faye's done everything I've asked and everyone around her on the team. And she's just really seeing the fruits of her labour. And, and I'm you beyond... work, that's the thing, both of you work so incredibly hard. But for you, Hamish, to have somebody like Faye who gives it 100% and who clearly has got this ability that she probably didn't even realise she had on the ice, that's just oh, a joy, isn't it? I really didn't. I've just completely fallen in love with it and actually embrace this world that you've introduced me to. And thank goodness I have someone like Hamish who just, he loves it just as much. And um, I kind of love that we get to create something new every week. It's fantastic. Well, do you know what? You can see in your face, because not all of the contestants have got this, you are having the time of your life. And I think that's what makes the performances even more special. But when the judges say, give us a little bit more, do you get a bit crestfallen or does it make you, does it drive you to be even better? Yeah, I said to you, it's put a fire in my belly this yeah. week. Um, I'm exhausted. I'm not going to lie. This is the most difficult challenge I've ever taken on in my whole entire life. Um, but that fire in my belly just gives me that determination to be better. Yeah, yeah. And I suppose that's what they're probably getting at. Yeah, yeah. I think they're just trying to get what they see and what I see. Obviously, I've got to protect Faye. It's a really dangerous show. So it's always walking that line of risk reward, but it, they know what they're talking about. We're here to listen and learn and be better every week. But the main thing we try and do is entertain and we hope the people at home, we Absolutely. give them five minutes to just to let their mind disappear yeah. into our performance and hopefully enjoy what we do on the ice. Mm -hmm. Oh, we absolutely do. We really do. And we're looking forward to Love Week. Now, what are you two doing for Love Week? And how much can you tell me? <laughs> Yes, uh, we have been, um, well, Dancing on Ice are going to be portraying the greatest love stories on ice. Ooh. And we have been given the honour of Kate and William. Lovely. Kate and William. Well, I mean, that is uh, an amazing love story. And, and it, what on earth are you going to dance to, though? And it, are you going to be dressed in the wedding dress? And what, uh, what, what's happening? <laughs> My legs. You thought those tights were good, but wait till you see me with the veil. They look so good in a... <laughs> I mean, yeah, we, we're going to be taking on Kate and William. I'm in the full wedding dress and you've got the lovely coat, haven't well, you? It's the wardrobe department, the Nikki's down is incredible. <laughs> we're not going to look like that. That's... No. <laughs> Although you do look rather lovely together. It is lovely. But we're not going there. It's not Strictly Come Dancing because I know you two have got your own very much own partners. And Hamish, of course, you're going to be getting married. You had to, you had to cancel your wedding, love, because of all of this. With the way the world is right now, there's lovely Emilio and the doggies. Um, so they're back home, and it's just one when the world goes back to normal, um, we'll go ahead with the wedding. We're in no rush, we love each other. Um, so when it happens, it happens, there's no rush, but it's it's obviously it's a difficult time for everyone, um, and for every industry. And when it's ready to go and it's safe to do so, we'll go ahead and get married and give ourselves the dream wedding we want. I wonder if you'll get married on ice, wouldn't that be fabulous? And then everybody could skate, or am I just getting ahead of myself and getting carried away? <laughs> we're on the ice now. We, want to, we wanted a winter wedding originally um, back in December, but we've obviously postponed it. So we'll just see how things go. 
and go from there really but it's... Amelia's got all the dress ideas in her head <laughs> keeps changing with when we can do it but I'll leave that to Amelia and make sure she's happy I on the day. It's really well for you you absolutely deserve it especially with the disappointment of having a, a cancelled wedding and Faye Lots of your Coronation Street pals have done this very show, haven't they? Um, including Jane, who, Jane, I mean, I remember talking to her about it and she loved it. Now, has she been giving you any tips? Well, we actually saw her back when we weren't in lockdown and it was half term and she'd escaped to the ice just to get back on her, well, to get back on the ice, get in her boots. And she keeps saying how she's still dreaming of this show. It was the best thing she ever did and I completely hands down agree with her. See, like you, I'm just looking at her wee face there, and like you, she is beaming with yes. joy and happiness. And that is just so lovely to see, especially now. It's just lovely to see people being happy. I think that's what we're trying to do as well, is just give everybody at home some, some hope, some joy, pure entertainment. And it's a journey for me too. And to be with Hamish on the show and to see us progress and grow every week, it's, it's brilliant. I'm absolutely loving it. Oh, well, I can't wait to see what you're going to come up with this weekend. Thank you both so much. Good luck. You are amazing. Absolutely amazing. And Dancing on Ice continues this Sunday, 6 o'clock on ITV. Thank you both. Good luck. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.